You're welcome today to the broadcast of the prophetic word and Pastor Mark Akiti, your regular host. Today, Sunday, the 15th of August, I pray the Lord God Almighty will meet you at the very point of your need in Jesus' name. I'm led to declare into the life of someone today prophetically that those pains in your life, whatever is a pain in every area of your life, that those pains will turn to a miracle, they will turn to gain in the name of Jesus. Those tears will turn to joy. Those tears will turn to joy. Everything within and around your life we turn out for good. It shall turn out for good. Somebody, thus says the Lord, it shall end in praise. It will end in praise. The enemy plan that things will end in tears for you, but this is what the Lord is saying. It will end in praise. It will end in praise. You will not be an object of mockery. I see that mockery being turned around for good. Being turned around for good. It shall turn out for praise. That situation shall be turned around for your good you will not be drowned you will not end in shame you will not be ridiculed you will not be ridiculed wipe the tears the lord is on your side the lord is fighting for you the lord is making a way for you the lord is doing what only him can do and when god has finished you will know that this is god and not man the lord is doing something brand new in your life share up share up trust god it will end in praise hallelujah 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 Rejoice. It's well with you in Jesus' name. In Psalm 34, verse 1, a very popular verse, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. Then the psalmist made the resolve that he's going to praise God in all times, in all situations, under all circumstances, good or bad, sun or rain, summer or winter. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Money in pocket or no money in pocket. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be my mouth. Make that resolve. As we've been discussing this part one, two days, the third day, on this wonder of praise. What happens when you resolve to praise God? Praise drives away evil spirits from your life, from your situation. When Saul was possessed with evil spirits and David played on the instruments of music, the demons disappeared. Anointed praise drives away evil spirits. That's one of the wonders of praise. What happens when you praise God again? Praise, number two, brings God's presence into your life. The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people thou inhabitest the praises of the people God dwells in your praise when you praise him 
God dwells in your praise. God dwells in your presence. His presence comes to tabernacle with you when you praise God. What happens when you praise God? When you praise God, there are so many, but we're just speaking so when you praise God, your faith is strengthened. The Bible says that Abraham was strong in faith as he gave praise and glory to God. As he glorified God, his faith was strengthened. His faith was strengthened to receive what God promised him. Praise strengthens your faith. Praise invigorates your faith. What happens again? Wonder so praise. Praise breaks chains. Praise breaks difficult obstacles. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. He has broken the chains of brass and called the bars of iron asunder. Praise breaks chains. Praise cause problems that looks like iron bars. Praise cause them in pieces. Praise disgraces opposition. You remember, you remember the case of Paul and Silas as they began to sink and to praise God in the midst of their difficulty, in the midst of their challenges, as they were praising God. The Bible says suddenly there was an earthquake. There was an earthquake. And God came down into what looked like an impossible situation. But the hands of Paul and Silas changed. Their legs changed. God came into the prison and broke the chains in their hands. Not only breaking the chains in their hands, God opened all the prison doors. Light shined into the prison. God broke their chains. Praise break difficult situations. Praise breaks difficult chains. Not only that light came into that prison, Praise brings the light of God into your situation. Praise shines the light into your circumstances. So, do not just look at how you feel. We need to sing the song of praise. Determine to radically praise God. Praise God out of this situation. Praise breaks chains. Especially today, Sunday, as you go to worship God, do not do, do not blame whether one choir say maybe the choir master is not singing well, the song leader is not singing well. Do, no, don't blame anybody. Determine by yourself that you are going to break through. Determine that you will have an encounter with God. As you determine to praise God, God will single you out for a miracle. That's what praise does. Praise causes God to single you out for a miracle, to single you out for a visitation. A visitation. God Almighty, today, will touch your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, we anoint you today with the oil of praise. And as it has been declared, that whatever it is you're going through, it will turn out to thanksgiving. It will turn out for a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today. In the name of Jesus, receive the garment of praise. I release the spirit of joy, the spirit of praise, the spirit of celebration, upon you in jesus name and every situation that is asking you to shut up directly or indirectly for the children of israel they were in captivity and when they were in captivity the enemy asked them and said sing for us the songs of zion
and they could not sing because of their problems they say how shall we sing the lost song in a strange land they hang their harp they hang the instrument of music because of problem ah uh, take back the instrument of music take back your song of praise take back your joy in the lord take back that tambourine take back that tambourine take back that simba take back your trumpet take back your cornet take back your whistle take back your instrument of praise and begin to praise the lord praise terminates captivity every captivity in your life be terminated right now in the mighty name of jesus every bondage in your life be broken right now in the mighty name of jesus every hardship surrounding your life and your family i command it to be overturned in jesus name because you are a vessel of praise you are a vessel of glory bring the honor to god everything programmed to bring you shame everything programmed to bring you shame i command it to be overturned 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 into a blessing into promotion into testimony for you in the name of jesus and others are going down your case will be different you'll be rising up you'll be going forward you'll be making progress in jesus mighty name amen i pray today for any person sick in any part of their body whatever kind of sickness is on your body place your hand upon that place where you're sick right now from the crown of the head from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet just place your hand on that place right now father i pray right now every sickness right now where they have placed their hands led to healing power Touch that place now in the name of Jesus Christ and let that sickness be healed now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I curse. If I curse. I curse. I see, I see God touching the area of the womb. I curse that fibroid in the name of Jesus. I curse it. I command it to wither and dry off in the mighty name of jesus dry off in the name of jesus father every problem that has to do with infertility like it may just be somebody that i'm sent to do them here in ovarian system ovarian system whatever whoever this person is oh god let your power reach out and touch her right now reverse this situation in the mighty name of jesus reverse this situation in jesus name if somebody listening to the sound of my voice you're not married but you're having you're having sickness say you're a lady you're having sickness that married people that what god is saying married people have whatever sickness that is in your body i will not allow you to bring forth bear your own children in future i cause that sickness i command it to die disappear from your body in jesus mighty name be healed from the crown of your head to the soul of your feet in the mighty name of jesus amen amen if you have not given your life to jesus christ this is an opportunity for you to give your life to jesus christ self me oh lord i come to you today in the name of jesus have mercy on me forgive me all my sins watch all my sins away I accept Jesus Christ today into my heart as my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Hallelujah. You have made that confession. You are born again. You can reach us on our phone number, plus 234-80-58-000-442, or send us an email, God at answers by fire at gmail.com. Remember to share this message to everybody. In your contact as you are sharing this message is the blessings of god you are sharing and god will bless you mightily in return in jesus mighty name i will see you again tomorrow morning shalom